Yeah, we get to, we, one of the cool things, this is also what kind of stuff really excites me, like these kind of fun little ways we can tie in kind of um, real pop culture or, or real urban legends, kind of how the show started, like tying in real urban legends, or tying in existing urban legends into the lore of the show. Um, and we find out that uh, Dorothy's kind of been trapped in the middle letter, middle letters bunker for a long, long, long time. And accidentally, she's set free, but so is the witch. So now we ah, have supernatural. Yeah, 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 cool. So now we have uh, now we have the witch. Dorothy, and right? Yeah. Wizard of Oz. Okay, Just sure. Um, so we have them running around our bunker, and we have to employ the help of kind of the the uh, coolest computer nerd we know to help us try and figure out what happened and how we can figure out more details on it. Enter Charlie. Um, enter Charlie, um, who's awesome and rad. But that was a really fun episode. Probably the most memorable reaction. That's right. But the. Um, the guys are kind of like, cool, crazy, how do we fix it? You know, the guys are kind of like, we have a, a witch running wild in our bunker, and obviously we have the king of hell in our bunker as well, so we don't want them to... <laughs> have, Dean, Dean kind of tries to battle with the fact that there's an actual Wizard of Oz, and there's an actual Dorothy, and it's all kind of being unfolded in front of him. Uh, Charlie takes more of the, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, because Felicia plays that great. Um, so yeah, it's you get a lot of different reactions. Sam's more of the business. It's like, okay, didn't expect that, but down to business. How yeah. do we get? How do we fix this situation that we're in? And uh, yeah, so you get you get the different layers of reactions from uh, from all three of us. You also get somebody. Sam also gets somebody to play off of because there are parts obviously where we have to kind of split up. And I think Dean and Charlie had one way, and Dorothy and I had another way. Um, so we also get to see in the Sam's psyche a little bit. Um, because he kind of opens up to Dorothy in ways that he wouldn't have opened up to, to Dean or Charlie or Crowley or Kevin or Cass. Um, so he gets to kind of he gets to kind of sell her things that he knows she's not going to be around the next week or he assumes she's not. So he's like, I'll just go ahead and level with you, um, which is nice. We see a nice uh, part of Sam. And it's a nice kind of one-off too. I mean, we, we've obviously, as you guys know from the season opener that you watched, that there's a there's a lore that's taking off this season that it's it's going to be really relevant throughout the throughout the whole season. But yeah. we're still getting our one offs like like this one that we're talking about and there's been a few others and stuff. So uh, you know we're still we're still keeping that formula and it's uh, it seems to have worked for us in the past. I think we're gonna continue with it. So. And I think it's so cool. Like I think this storyline, the story arc this year, I'm I truly am so excited and thrilled about it. Like I'm really excited to sink my teeth both in, both into what I get to do with Sam and Ezekiel and whatnot, but mm -hmm. also just the angels on Earth, the different factions of Warring Angels. Um, I'm really going to do it. It has a sort of, I don't want to say a season four feel to me, mm -hmm. but it has this feel where the boys aren't just doing Monster of the Week type thing or just one-off, funny, Dorothy changing channels type thing, but we actually have another war going on that we need to try and figure out. It's so much bigger than them. Too. Yeah, yeah. A, a bigger, like, de angels and demons, and now angels and angels, and who, who's, who's who blind, who's not. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a fun position for the boys to be. I like that kind of stuff. So. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming.